pandemic. As we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, one author is being honored with the Best of Brooklyn Award at the 17th Annual Brooklyn Book Festival. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger brings us the details on the festival, which wraps up today. It's New York's largest free literary festival, and this year more than 400 authors, 200 publishers from over 20 countries will be participating in dozens of discussions about contemporary literature. But it's like a feast, and you won't be able to eat everything, but you want to make sure that you know what the ones that you really want are. The festival began this week with a lineup of bookend events, including sunrise on a canoe in the Gowanus Canal, poetry readings, and more across the five boroughs. And it will come with a busy weekend of children's events on Saturday and the main event, Festival Day, on October 2nd. There were so, so many authors living in Brooklyn and being inspired by Brooklyn. And in addition to that, the publishing community really made its home here. It started as a one-day event back in 2006, a way to celebrate the thriving literary community of our city. Now, 17 years later, it's morphed into a nine-day festival celebrating all things literature. Every year, the festival honors an author with a Best of Brooklyn Award, whose work exemplifies the spirit of the borough. This year's recipient is writer Esmeralda Santiago, who moved to Brooklyn at 13 years old and is best known for her memoir, When I Was Puerto Rican. But I do remember being a reader and not seeing myself in the literature of the United States and not and being aware that if I'm not in the literature, I'm not in the society, I'm invisible here. And, and I think that's where my desire to be a writer begins. Living in Brooklyn until adulthood, she says being recognized for her story is an honor. They were asking me would I accept this honor, and I'm like, of course, <laughs> yes. Uh, but it was so, it, it was a real surprise. I didn't know I was being considered. With such an offering of topics and panels, they believe there will be something for each of the thousands of bookworms expected to show up. In downtown Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News.